There's this hypothesis. And it's, and it's a pretty, pretty, it's a hypothesis that kind of stands, and it has biological reasons. But for, for a guy that is in a relationship to be interested in other girls, that's just cheating. But if a girl who's in a relationship becomes interested in another guy, it often means that she's not getting what she needs to get from that relationship. Hilarious. So this guy made comments and stuff throughout the way, guys. But I'll give you mine. It's rules for thee and not for me, right? It's 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 very very true, guys. Um, I I can't really get around that hypothesis. I think that's a female hypothesis. I don't think any guy is going to agree with that. Uh, but I've heard that stuff in the past, guys. And especially I told you guys about my sordid past on dating apps and all that sort of stuff and womanizing and some of the stuff and situations got myself into. Uh, with women who were taken, right? Um, and how much they lied and, and tricked and everything to sort of suck guys in to go over and get the job done with hiding the fact that they're married. But when you do find out and confront these women, it's always the same story. It's fine, they're okay with it because I still love the husband, but he's not giving him what she needs, which is all the excitement, the thrills, the James Bond experience that I talked to you guys about, all right? Piping her down, just... Bending her in half, you know, treating her like a little um, sluzzer in the back of the VN. Because when you're married to a chick, you really don't want to do that to your, to, to your wife. Um, and a lot of the times, they like that sort of thing. So, that's the reason why they do it. How come when a heroin addict keeps doing heroin, we blame the heroin addict? <laughs> if we use the logic of most women on Tinder... It's not the heroin addict's fault. It's that damn bag of heroin. It tricked him. I had to quit hitting this pipe, baby. It's been fooling me into smoking it all day. No one ever absolves the drug addict of their addiction. You know, nobody goes, it wasn't Tyrone's fault that he was smoking this crack pipe, your honor. I call the crack pipe the stand. You know, it's never the woman's fault. Women in dating, it's like DSP. It's never DSP's fault when he fails at a game or can't pay his taxes. He did nothing wrong. And the same could be said of most women on these dating apps. This is something that I, I, I did nothing wrong. I did everything <laughs> correct. I said most women on said dating apps. Every chick I know that's got her shit together is not on Tinder. And if you even bring it up, they're like, they, they act like you just brought up the name of the Antichrist. Ugh, Tinder, why would you bring that up, you idiot? I mean, I'm sorry, Becky, I should be punished. Punish me with your lips. And then she gives me a restraining order. So anyway, this dude makes a profile of a good-looking blonde guy with blue eyes, obviously. And it reads, I'm an aspiring model. Watch out for me in GQ in a couple years. Winky face. You should know I've had trouble with the law my whole life. <laughs> it, when I tell chicks I've had trouble with the law, it's already over. I save that for like the fourth date. Convicted three times for rape of a child. R-O-A-C. I don't even know what that means. Oh, wait. That's the acronym for it. And once for sexual activity with a child. But to be fair, she turned 16 like a week later. So it was super unfair. But whatever. I'm, <laughs> I'll stop wanting to be with kids. Unlikely <laughs> laughing my ass off. They're, they're way tighter. Oh. I hope you can therefore forgive me for my past crimes. I gotta go. Holy shit. The dude's profile was just a time bomb. <laughs> Oh my god! I didn't even. So, guys, back in the day, I'm not going to say I did anything to this extent, but I used to stuff around on there as well. I'd put all sorts of stuff in my profile. I'd make up fake jobs, fake backgrounds, fake names, everything, because you get bored of just doing the same old thing. And so, you try to sometimes handicap yourself to see if you can still pull chicks when you're just making yourself as unattractive as possible. So, it's. um, <laughs> This is funny. Obviously, it's a fake photo and everything, but I used to do this with my real photos. And I'll still, I'll still pull chicks because a lot of the time, guys, they don't read the profile. Um, if it's an attractive guy, they just swipe. So like some of them do. Some of them go right through and do a forensic on it. But it's like, it's think about it, guys. Like when you're looking on the profile, I know we're, we're different to women. But if you're swiping along, you see a pretty girl and you think she looks all right, you're swiping. You're not reading about her life story. You don't care what she's got in her profile. Women are the same. I think there's this fake... You know, this fake um, hypothesis out there that women really care about every single word you put in your profile. No, they don't.
So unless they're just treating it as a game, as I say, really want his chocolate factory. They want guys on there to chat and chat and chat and chat. And that's when they care about all that stupid bullshit. Read the profile. That is ridiculous. That is insane, dude. That is raw. Jesus Christ. But his anthem is Young Love, Kip Moore. Gee, fuck me, dude. I haven't seen something that crazy since Kanye West's phone's password was 000. I can't even, bro. You look at his profile, and already it's like you're disgusted if you have a normal functioning human brain. And he still got matches. Julia, hello, handsome. How's your week going? <laughs> wow. You know what I've also learned from this? Women on Tinder have the same boring ass things to say to men that they scream that they don't want men to say to them. Like if I would reply to a match like, hey, what's up? How's it going? The chick would immediately unmatch me. Eh, he's so boring. God, you have something more to say to me? <laughs> That's very true, guys. I've had, I had, um, I've had this happen on heaps of occasions where you match. They write hi, and I do the stupid hand, the hand um, emoji where it's like a hand waving. And I write, oh, hey, how's it going? And they'll write back, seriously? Is that it? And then I've been blocked. And this happened more than once. It's happened a lot of times. You're just like, what the hell is even going on here? But they're absolutely immensely. So that's why the chicks on dating apps damage goods most of the time. And I always say to you guys, well, I had a great time on there. I had fun. I was very persistent with it. I didn't go on there and just match every chick and, and get every chick. I'll spend days and hours and hours and hours and hours trying to pull chicks. Like it's a numbers game. But that was fun for me. Right? It was fun for me. I was hyper focused on it. Um, but most of them are no good. And as I say, I've already said one in a thousand. I reckon are probably like good quality woman that you'd be actually compatible with. That could be a proper girlfriend that's not mental and all the bad things won't happen, or that you will actually like as well. And I think one in a hundred are probably worth dating. I used to say 5%. I actually think it's less than that from what I'm hearing from other guys that are still out there on the dating apps as well. Guys, like um, some of the shit that I hear that, that, that women pull, you know, it's I think it's getting worse and worse. But as I said, I'm off them. I'll sort of quit. So, um, yeah. Handing over the torch to you, new Bryce is coming up. And it's like, how can I have anything more to say to you? Your profile is blank. You have nothing to say about yourself. I should move on. Even the writer of this article writes, okay, it's entirely likely that the girl didn't even read his bio. Maybe they're all like this. No, my friend. Believe me, we're going to find out that chicks do read the bio. They just don't care. Zill was like, would you like hook up with a hot chick even if she had a crazy bio like that? I'm like, dude, I swipe left on chicks who have bios where it says like she has no money in her bank account. I'm currently broke. Whoop. Swipe? Nope, you're not getting me. I've never seen that. <laughs> you are an anchor. If a girl, uh, this guy doesn't sound that experienced to me because I think at the start of his video, I skipped it. But he was bragging that he was, you know, all over it and had a sorted past on Tinder and all that. I can tell you now, guys, from someone who spent so many years on the apps and websites and chat rooms, no chick ever paints himself in a bad light. They're not going to tell you they're in debt or anything like that. You don't find that out till far later down the road when you're locked in. And good old you has to pay for it. <laughs> Once you got nowhere to go, boys. They're not going to tell you about it. All I do is party and drink and I block out swipe. Even though I'm pretty sure she swiped me if I didn't read my profile. Now let's move on. Rochelle wrote, hey, every criminal has a chance to be forgiven. But then again, there's something very attractive about a bad boy. Oh my God. Bad. This dude's beyond bad. <laughs> He's a molester. He's a child <laughs> molester. Ah! Have you guys seen that movie? Ah! 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 Have you guys seen that? Uh, Freddy got... I won't say that word here. I'll get bloody censored again. So guys, as I said, I'm getting demonetized for basically next to nothing these days, guys. So I'm trying to watch what I say but still get the message across. <laughs> But it's, yeah, that movie, ever, read, ever watch it, it's pretty funny. It's over the top, you know, Tom Green's off his head. This guy goes, I think I'd rather be bad than forgiven, winky face. The question is, how bad does this bad boy get? And does this bad boy need a naughty girl to keep him bad? Oh, my God. <laughs> he literally called himself a child rapist. And this chick's like, well, I'm a bad girl, too. I forgot to give a tip over at Starbucks. Amber writes, 
I can absolve you of your sins tonight, wink. Oh my god. Hey, are you living in London? <laughs> well, hey there, gorgeous. How are you? It just doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Chicks are just throwing themselves at him. They couldn't make it any easier for him unless they figured out how to move through space and time to get to his house immediately. Hey, when I was seven, I stole a gumball from my corner store and felt guilty about it for years. I guess that makes us equally as evil. Yeah, but that's that chick there, you know, you come on, you're looking at that good old Molly there. Molly, um, Molly, um, she's absolutely pricey, but, you know, this is Tinder, guys. Tinder, for me, I never I never really did that well on there. I pulled a few girls off it, but I never really used it. I never liked it. Um, tinge, uh, Hinge, not Tinge, Hinge and Bumble. Like, that's where it was at for me. I, I never... I always found Tinder was like just a tiny little step above plenty of fish, plenty of fish boys. As I'll, t I'll tell you my experience with that, it's sort of full of fat single moms and junky looking chicks and only cans chicks and retards and shit trying to date. You know, it's um, yeah, it's it's not a good place to go if you're looking for anything um more than just scraping the bottom of the barrel. I didn't find Tinder was much above that. I found Tinder was full of more single moms, like single, like shazzies, you know. Yeah, yeah. Those ones from bloody packing them. That's what I found Tinder was full of. I never liked it. Oh my fuck, Molly. You are retarded. <laughs> Kill me, please. I want to die. I feel like Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade and I've peered into that box, you know, the Ark of the Covenant where it turns all the Nazis into like melted ice cream. I shouldn't have gone down this hole. I'm surprised you're still out roaming the streets after so, I think he meant to write, after such a horrendous crime. We should both be locked up. I don't think I'd mind as long as we're locked up together. Well, as long as you're there and handcuffs are involved, Ha 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 ha, oh my god. That was such a crazy thing of me to say. But I'm happy I said it. Are you a native Londoner? These London girls don't care. He hasn't even replied and she's still messaging and gave her her phone. It gave him her phone number. What a coincidence. Well, I'm only here for a few days. What are you doing tomorrow night? Here's my personal details. I'm in the area. She's like, please let me get your man meat. Dude, I had a chick write to me on Tinder. I moved. Yeah, no, you told me before, Butt Nugget. And then she goes, leave me alone. I'm not interested. And I'm like, you message me, you fucking freak. Meanwhile, this dude. Hey, are you all right? Aha, I'm not here for long. So I'm just looking for someone to take my virginity. Can't come home still being a virgin. Oh. I'm actually 19. Sorry, I'm quite straightforward. Wow. That's the shit, you guys. So I know this is a funny video, but... You got to be careful of that, you younger guys out there. You get these teenager girls, you're 15, 16, going on there saying they're 18, 19, 20. You can catch yourself a case, boys. You be very, very careful. If they seem a bit sus, not worth it. It's not worth getting your tip in, lads. I tell you that. End up down at the uh, cop shop. How old are you and how long are you here for? I'm blah, blah, blah. It's blocked for reasonable doubt. So I've been in London for a bit, more than nine months now, but we'll have to go back home soon. Like in two months time. Well, I'm not as innocent as I pretend to be. We got there, but I never dared to do it in the end. You dare to do it now? Yeah, I do. Number, hearts. And she gives him her phone number. 19 years, years old. <laughs> she's, she's a virgin. And she's looking to lose her virginity to some rando dude. She's bloody 15 or something, you moron. Dude who said he's a pedophile on Tinder. I could put up a Tinder profile tomorrow that says I'm a popular YouTuber who's uh, who does crap for Dude, you're a massive dork. Uh, you know, you're a good YouTuber, but you're a bit of a dork, mate. Um, so I don't know, this guy's saying he had a sordid Tinder past. Um, I'm not buying it. Charity on the down low, but he tells people to remind him he's not a piece of shit. I saved a kitten from a burning building. I still wouldn't get a match, dude. All right, so this chick says, when I was six, I stole a Kinder Bueno from the supermarket, so I guess that we're both felons. Ha 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 ha. Notice how when it's a good looking guy that does something fucked, every girl tries to relate to him. When you're an average guy, they have no time for you. Because an average guy, a woman on Tinder would look at him and go, eh, he looks like a child molester. But then literally, a good looking guy 
who said he's a convicted child molester. And then the girl's just like, <laughs> well, everybody makes mistakes. Oh, my God. Classic. All right, guys, halfway through. This one will probably go for another 15 or so, I reckon. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please sub. Aiming for 7K subs. Um, and if you want to support the channel, um, check out the link in the description to my uh, Patreon. No pressure if you don't want to do that, though. And uh, please, the, the best way you can help me out, guys, is just watching the videos all the way through. That's what pushes me out to a wider audience. Cheers. Right. <laughs> and they wonder why dudes are spending all their time in video games. And then the feminists got to come around and try and ruin video games. The last bastion of fucking fun you can have. And I'll be damned if a social justice warrior won't rip it from you because you just... Well, that's a funny thing he says that. So, guys, so I didn't mention this. This is a five years old, this video. It has two million views on it, by the way. But it's five It's five years old. Um, and he made a point about social justice warriors and all the wokeness and, and all that encroaching on men's spaces. But it really has. So, I, I'm into video games. I like playing games, guys, here and there. I don't play them all the time. But when I, when I, get, the, um, when I get the itch to do it, I give them a good tilt. And I've noticed more and more of this woke stuff getting in there and, you know, female protagonists and when there shouldn't be a female protagonist in a certain role, it's not believable and people of color and all this sort of stuff. And look, and LGBT plus characters and all this stuff, you know, it's, they're ruining it. They're ruining it for, we don't want to play that stuff. It's not that we hate it. We just don't want to play that stuff. We want to play games for guys, get away from the world, get away from all the stuff that's happening in the real world just happen to be a straight male trying to chill the fuck out and then one day yep. a dude goes nuts and starts shooting shit up and everyone's like why did he do it you don't stop sending me messages bitch oh my god this is i shouldn't have read this emma i hope i don't fall in love with you because i wouldn't know how to explain your criminal behavior to my mother where is your god where is your god now yeah, it'd be a real rough self for your mother <laughs> but if she's anything like you she'll let it slide if uh he'll allow your mother to give him a handy Mama will stroke guy's penis for him. No one has to know. I'll sneak in when it's dark. Mom, please. You're not Lexi, what are you doing tonight? You, good answer. Come on over. Where are you based? Her address. <laughs> Wowzers. Oh Legend. my God. Jesus Christ. It doesn't do this. Leisure suit Larry didn't have it this easy. Sophie, damn, you look like my prep school crush. Eight to 13 years old laughing my ass off. Ha ha ha, thanks. How's thanks? Dude. Wow. That is amazing. The next time, like, <laughs> a woman gives me some sort of flack about men, I'm, I'm uh. saving these links. Next time, some chick complains. What's wrong with your gender? I get this shit all the time. Chicks I know that text me. And it's like they do this because I don't orbit. I ain't doing that anymore. I'm too old for that. It's like, you want to go out now? Okay. I gotta go, honey. There are women who are interested in me. Goodbye. Then randomly get a text in the middle of the night. What's wrong with your gender? Why do men keep trying to fuck me? Because you keep going for men that want to fuck you, dipshit. My <laughs> God, everything you say you want a man, I'm right here. I just don't look like this guy. If I did, my life would be so different. I wouldn't even be on YouTube, bro. I'd be I think the guys like this and a lot of guys out there, it's like you, you, they say what they want, right? They say what they want and guys hear and go, oh, well, I'm all those things. But the thing is, they don't want those things, guys. That's just the reality. They don't want... That stuff, it's boring. It's not fun. These young girls who have got the world at their fingertips in Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, which is the dating apps, as I call it, they don't want Mr. Fun, Mr. Reliable, Mr. Boring. Unless they unless they really have had enough. They've been ran through enough times. They just, they just want to just get out. And some of them realize it sooner than later that what they're doing probably isn't going to get them a good result. But a lot of the time, they say they want the nice guy, the good guy. You know, you see those things around where a guy gets friend-zoned and they say, oh, and the friend, the guy takes her on a date. And she says, oh, you're my friend. He took me on a friend date. And you see the picture of the guy and he's like crushed in the photo. They don't want that guy. That's just the reality of it. Some of them go for him because they realize it's a smarter move, but that isn't truly what they want deep down. Be too busy living off of rich old women. So this led me down... A rabbit hole of no return. The funny thing is, some of these guys weren't even creative. Jesus Christ. They all kind of have the same thing going on. They even named their guy Chad. Chad explains his troubled past in his Tinder profile. He's very honest about Good his rig. history of being a pedo. Will he get matches? Will he find love? Question mark. You sons of bitches.
Kids are us! Like, the level of trolling here is off the charts, and it's like the chicks just don't care. They, they don't even pick up on this. It's either this is a troll or a horrible human being, and they're just like... It's a troll. It's okay, he's ripped. <laughs> he looks like Captain America. Kids are us, is his so, job. I'm Chad. You don't like me? Too bad. Things you should know about me. Because you'll see the ankle monitor. I'm a convicted child rapist oh. slash molester. It's in my past. Made some mistakes, but working on each day to fix them. Looking for fun. Longer stuff is cool, but can't be around in a month because I have to go back to jail for a stupid thing between me and my ex. She is overreacting about a few slaps I gave her. But the times when you get to be legitimately violent against women is one of the joys of the life. <laughs> a year ago, hit me up. Ain't that bad, seriously. He then matches the- Oh, they even blocked the chick's name. You could have at least gave me her name. Like, right, stupid broad number one. Hey, yeah. His reply is, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's where I fucked up. Hey, uh, I said, yeah. <laughs> also, read my profile and get back to me. You probably don't even do that, KK. You could totally treat women like trash. Yeah. I had to make a new Tinder profile. And I'm going to use that and yong out. If a chick doesn't reply, yong out. Then she gets unmatched. Reddit. That for real or a joke or what? <laughs> it's real. It was only one kid. He was eight. I said they shit like this. Obviously not with this weird kid style. I think they could have done something a bit more tasteful than that, guys. Um, but I understand what they're going for. Just with, they said the most repulsive thing possible and see what happened. But I used to say stuff like, um, you know, any woman over 60 kilos, please don't swipe, you don't qualify, blah, blah, blah. I used to say it's obnoxious stuff in there because you know how they say in their profiles, no guy under six foot or six two or whatever. I used to say, no fatties, you know, you know <laughs> all this sort of stuff. And I had heaps of matches doing that. A lot of them were women, like, they match me and they just abuse me, call me ugly, stupid, whatever. But it was so funny, man. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. Are you fucking kidding me? And in my mind, it felt consensual, but it's over now, and I'm trying to move on. The chick doesn't bail out, doesn't unmatch him. She goes, wow, not really sure what to say. I guess it's cool how you've been honest about it, though, dot, dot. Fair or true, you really don't care, girl, now, do you? If I don't say something with a great pickup line immediately, chicks unmatch me. This dude's like, I diddled a kid, and the broad's still in there. Yup. So what are you going to do? Your pickup lines don't matter. What you say truly doesn't matter as long as you're a decent dude. But you uh, on the apps, guys, I know it's hard. you got to be good looking. you got to be, or for them, to perceive you as better than them or better looking than what they are. All right? It's just the reality of it. They have so many options. So guys get really pissed off. But some of... Some of the stuff you can probably fix yourself. You can you can get a bit of a better profile. You can always you can always sort of do a bit of a um, photo shoot and get some better pictures going. A lot of guys don't do a lot of effort. You know, they just do a selfie bang from underneath, and they wonder why they're not getting any matches or getting next to no matches. You know, but yeah, I think that I think it's, it really is true. Even back when I was doing it, like about four years ago, I gave it up. But it's all about. At, f at face value, what you look like for guys and and girls. So guys are seem shocked that they're not reading the profile, they're matching, yeah. And that's just the reality of it. They they say they read them, but they they, they don't, man. The, the ones that sit on there playing around and they want prompts and they want uh, poems and bullshit on there, they're the ones that are never going to truly meet you because they're sitting there for fun. But yeah, I don't know what's so shocking about it. We both want to, as men and women, we both want to swipe on people or meet people that we feel are attractive or more attractive than us a lot of the time that's why my strategy guys is always go for like you sort of equal or less i'll sort of go i'll go down all right and that's why i did so well like i know i say to you guys i went on the air and i ripped it up and everything i wasn't banging heaps of hot chicks all the time it was just normal normal chicks with normal ones it's great because they're all same on the inside guys right about now anything cool uh just bored bored and on tinder looking for fun and stuff yourself are you from blocked out the area? And he just writes back, yeah. Jesus Christ, still in there. Still in there. Women have thirst. 
They just don't have thirst for anything that isn't a gorgeous man. If you're an average looking guy, women don't even see you. That's true. It's like, it's like being a ghost or something. And if they bump into you, they act like it's your fault. Meanwhile, you could be standing there talking to a friend and a chick walks into you staring at her phone. And then she goes, excuse you? I'm like, what are you talking about? You ran into me. And then she huffs off like I did something to her. And you get lucky. <laughs> you're lucky you're not a man. The chick goes, and we matched. Hiya, happy faces. If you don't read my profile already, check it out. Explains why I wear an ankle monitor, which you'll probably see when my clothes are off. She goes, ew, what the fuck? Seriously? And he goes, LOL. She's still in there, by the way. Question mark. <laughs> yes. <it's laughs> you read that? And it's in the past. Take it or leave it. This chick is still in there. I'm speechless. <laughs> How old was the kid? <gasps> oh, my God. I just split my lip. Fuck. The dude changes the story this time around. He's like, <laughs> all right, nuts. eight wasn't fucked up enough. I got to take it to the next level. Two and a half. Wow, that's super fucked up, man. Honestly, would just rather stop talking about it. Is that okay? I didn't say I was done talking to you about it. Other stuff. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! I probably I, I called Jesus so much you think he come back. He writes back, "Yeah, MP, no problem. I don't rape anymore. It's cool." And she writes <laughs> another message. Wow. Remember. There are no good men out there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like a garbage man, you work a nine to five, you take care of your mother, and you're like average looking, you're not good enough for women on Tinder. If you're a hot dude and you claim to be a pedophile with an ankle monitor, don't matter. They want a piece. This is insanity. I can't believe this. This is actually great. Look, I know. I just... <sighs> I understand they're doing it for fun, right? And they got some responses like that. Okay, okay let, let, let's be a bit balanced here. I reckon 99% of people of the chicks wouldn't have swiped on it or, or, or anything like that. So they're, they're trying to make out like every single chick on there was throwing themselves at him because he was good looking, but he was a bad man, right? I'm going to say what it was, but he's a bad man. That's not true. This is all fun. This is all information. Yeah, he knows even if those those things are real, all right? But those are fringe cases, I reckon. Most people aren't going to talk to anyone like, oh, no, I used to put stupid stuff on my profile. I'll get heaps of backlash about it. I'm not saying I'm a chatter or anything, guys. I'm just saying I did really well on there to the point where I got bored. So I started just writing dumb shit on my profile, uh, making up stories, making up lies and stuff just to see what I can get away with because it was boring. Um, and I had more fun doing that. Um, don't recommend doing that because you will get a bit of blowback eventually. Um, and you get banned off the app, so I'll ban off every single app, guys. So like, if you're not if you're not banned off every single dating app, you're doing something wrong here, boys. So guys who are banned, give me a thumbs up in the comments. You've joined the Monster Hunter Club. To be initiated into the Monster Hunter Club, you've got to be banned from at least one dating app. Hey there. Does it even matter what I say, does it? Huh? All right, now even the dude trolling, he's becoming depressed in the middle of his own experiment. That dude started this off like, this is gonna be funny. Then he ended up suicidal by the end of it. He goes, look, just read my profile, see what I did. Then brush it aside so we can go ahead and smash already, okay? <laughs> so your plan here is to boss me around and expect me to do everything you say because why? Forget it. You give up easy, don't you? He's like, forget it, I'm done, get out. And she's like, you give up too easy. <laughs> Don't leave. Don't leave, Mr. Pedophile. <laughs> You're too hot. He writes back, whatever. <laughs> Calm down, seriously. I did re read your profile. Can we move on now? I am in shock. And there it is. For fuck's sake. What? Forget it. This dude is now tired of his own prank. He's like... He's literally dying inside. At first, this is a goof, and now he's just like, I can't handle my own joke. Your photos made my day. <laughs> okay, to you. Jeez. I don't so, right? like compliments, do we? Smiley faces. LOL, you're good. Make sure you read my profile, though. Seriously. Yes, I read it, and yes, I'm okay with it. Long as you're a different person, we all make mistakes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Whoever made this shit, dude, you're a prick. 
because I split my lip laughing at this. You <laughs> asshole. Sweet. Not everyone thinks like that. Some people think it's terrible to bless kids. <laughs> oh my god. And that I should be killed. And the little boy was six. So it wasn't a baby or anything. <laughs> what are you up what to? The hell? Oh my god. Oh. He can write this with those photos. And women respond. Dude, I'd rather, I'd rather be on Twitch. I'd rather be doing Twitch dot videos. I'm done with Tinder after this video. I'm done. I can't. This is oh. not happening again. Do not send these to me, people. Please. I can't do this. Well, it's, it's really disgusting, though. Like, as I said, I know what they're trying to get at by being repulsive, but like, I think they could have used a bit more of a better example than that. I think it's... um. They could have said, you know, he bangs sluts or whatever, he's a pimp or something, whatever, something bad. I think, I don't think, for me, it doesn't sit 100% right with me. I see what they're trying to do, but it's um, it's still funny, the reactions here, guys. As I said, I think they're just cherry-picked. They're cherry-picked. Like, he probably would have had thousands. He would have been sitting there all day making this thing. Sounds like you've been through a lot and learned your lesson. Right now, I'm cooking dinner, and you, oh my. It's like, it doesn't matter at all. What does she think is going to happen if this guy was theoretically real? That he wouldn't deal his own kids? <laughs> if he looked like Danny DeVito, these chicks would be reporting his Instagram to the police. I mean, his Tinder, whatever. Do I look suspicious? You look grotesque. He goes, I'm horny as fuck. Ha ha, you're kind of blunt, are you? Aren't you, smiley face? Yeah, I make one dick joke, chicks unmatch me. <laughs> I said my dick is small, the broad was like, you're gone. <laughs> so he writes, so you live close to areas blocked, or what? She writes, right, swastika on his bicep, Last one, can't guys. miss it. It's like a red flag if I ever saw one. He also, in his Tinder profile, quotes Adolf Hitler. Need I say more? The guy had his profile about a week, and he matched with every girl he swiped on. He only added the ones he thought was funny. He opens to Katie speaking German. She writes, what? Your place or mine, it's German. So straightforward, where do you live? <laughs> Please tell me that's drawn on with a marker. He goes, you want to try and rub it off? And she goes, let me get out this sponge. Oh, that's a different broad, but whatever. Tress writes, interesting bio. Do you speak German? It's Hitler's speech, you ditzy bimbo. Interesting bio, do you speak German? Of course, I had to learn. What does it say? It's a quote by a great man. Nice. This chick writes, <laughs> I can't even read her name. Karudo, Karuko, I don't know. Looks damn near like a Naruto name. Uh, is that a swastika for real tattoo? Want to see it in person? She goes, mm. And he goes, your place or mine? Question mark. She goes, mine. <laughs> Legend. She's like, I don't know. You, your place in mind. Okay, here's my address. I'm ready. Take me, <laughs> mind Fuhrer. He writes this chick, Penny, are you Jewish? She goes, no. He writes, I knew you were too cute. Ah, thank you. Doesn't even realize the racist implications. He writes to this other girl, Cree. I probably got that wrong. Do your eyebrows disappear when you wash your face? No, they don't. They're 90% real, I promise. By the way... Like your blonde streaks. Doesn't notice the swastika at all. <laughs> Plus 20 more messages. I just thought these five were the funniest. Amazing. Anyway, this goes on for a little bit more. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. This one's been a bit of a longer one. Um, I thought it was pretty funny. Something to watch through and see what sort of guys are doing to test the waters out on Tinder. And see what it's like out there and what women will put up with um, for a, someone they see is a really, really high, highly attractive man. So I think it was really funny. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching this far, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.